What's up guys, Jimmy Harlow here with Merlin Entertainment. Today, uh, I'm going to show you guys five things to do after upgrading to Windows 10. Uh, if you guys notice uh, my computer now, uh, I am currently running Windows 10 instead of Windows 7. Uh, I decided to do an upgrade to Windows 10 not too long ago, so I've been busy trying to get everything reorganized and uh, I've been extremely busy, especially regarding all my Twitch stuff. I have to build all that back together and everything else. So this video is going to, to talk about uh, five things that you need to do uh, after installing Windows 10 or at least upgrading to Windows 10. So we're going to go over just five things that we need to do. So the first thing we're going to talk about is something called Wi-Fi sharing. Uh, this is something that you actually do not want on the computer. Um, it's a nifty feature if you know what it's for, uh, but it's dangerous if you don't. So if you don't know what Wi-Fi sharing is, basically it allows your computer's internet connection to be shared to private uh, internets. So uh, that's something that you don't want because that can, um, I'm assuming it can be vulnerable to hacking. I'm not real bright on that subject but we're going to go ahead and disable it. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to open up settings and to do that you're going to go to the start menu down here and you're going to click the settings button right there. And we're going to go to, um, let's see, we're going to network and internet and we're going to go to advanced options right here. No, I'm sorry, we're going to go down to manage, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to go down to manage Wi-Fi settings right here. And notice underneath uh, Wi-Fi Sense, you're probably going to see everything turn on. Uh, I'm going to ahead and turn on mine off, but you're probably going to see something that looks like this. Uh, this is actually something that you do not want where it says, connect to networks shared by my contacts. This is something that you want turned off. And it you can also, uh, uh, excuse me, you can also uncheck all of these because this is going to, um, share your, this actually shares your network information with uh, contacts that you have and you just don't want any of this. So connect to suggested open hotspots. This is uh, internet connections that your computer will suggest is safe. Uh, if you don't know what it's for, you need to turn this off. Um, paid Wi-Fi services. This is for buying Wi-Fi. You need to turn that off as well. So pretty much everything in your uh, Wi-Fi settings needs to be shut off. If you have a Microsoft account, uh, you, um, you can look up what Wi-Fi Sense is and see if that's good enough to use or not. I'll probably have an article or something in the description where you guys can look this up and figure out more what it is. So the second thing we're going to talk about is customizing the start menu. This is actually um, a pretty useful thing actually. I was very surprised to see that the start menu had come back to Windows 10. Of course, I'm an IT major. so. I've known about this for quite a while. But the neat thing is you can actually um, resize this start menu. Um, you can choose if you want the tile on or off by going to more here at the bottom or just right clicking on any tile in that matter. So say I want mail turned off so I can either unpin from start or turn the live tile off to where it won't, it won't be shown here. But what I did was, I, all I did was just resize my start menu. This is the default of what it looks like when you first install it. I just changed my accent color to red. I just think it, make it, I think it makes it look more sleek. So to resize it, you just want to put your mouse or cursor on the edge of the start menu until it turns to this little arrow symbol. Then you want to click and hold and drag over one. This actually makes your uh, start menu a lot shorter and more compact. Now you can't go over any more than that because uh, it actually stops uh, right there because you have your live tiles turned on. So well, uh, you can also uh, rename these if you want to. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually going to keep that name live at maintenance. So I'm going to keep that and then there's play and explore down beneath it. And you can also make the start menu as big as you want by just doing the same thing, making the uh, cursor, putting the cursor near the edge, 
and click and hold and bring it over to the far right as far as you can and it actually extends all the way across the screen. I don't like this because it takes up a lot of desktop space. So what I usually do is bring it all the way over to the left. I want as, as little space in my start menu as possible. You can actually do the same thing for um, as far high as you can go and as far down as you can go. So um, I actually have mine just in the middle, right about here where the factory was. So um, if you double click, it takes it right back down to factory. So um, we're actually going to, uh, this is this is how mine's going to look. So just kind of fill around with this, see, if you, uh, see what you guys want to do and how you want to customize it. The third thing we're going to talk about is managing your restarts. This is a very uh, a very important uh, tool in Windows uh, in general, and Windows 10 makes it a lot. Uh, it makes it very simple to um, notify when your um, restarts take place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into settings, just like we did for killing our uh, to kill Wi-Fi share and manage our settings. But this time we're going to go down to update and security because we're going to be changing a lot of stuff. So yours will probably, uh, if you actually go down to advanced options down here, uh, yours will probably be set to automatic recommended like this. I actually, uh, I recommend that you put it down to notify to schedule restart. What this is going to do is rather than installing all of your computer's updates at once while you're using the computer, what it'll actually do is give you a notification to restart your computer when there's updates available. So I actually set mine to do that. So now if I go down here to the action center, you'll see that I have a, uh, you'll see I have a little notification here where it says restart required for updates, select this message to schedule. Or if I go uh, back to my Windows update settings, there is a, it says a restart has been scheduled. We'll schedule restart during a certain time. You guys get the point. So um, I'm actually going to restart this computer in a few minutes after this video, uh, after the video ends. So uh, that's a little, uh, there's, that's just another neat tool that uh, you guys can look into. The fourth thing is to meet the Action Center. Uh, pretty much get to know the Action Center. The Action Center is basically where all of your notifications go. So. This is like the mobile version or the mobile um, the mobile view or notification manager in Windows 10. So right now, like I just mentioned earlier, uh, I do have a restart required for updates because I have my updates scheduled and I want to notify me when I have updates available. And I also got Dropbox here. Uh, there's 16 files that have been changed in my Dropbox recently. And that's pretty much it. Um, we need basically just kind of fill around with this Windows 10 after upgrading is just messing around with it to see what it does. Um, of course, down below, down below your notification area, which is this main area here, um, you have all kinds of other neat things. Tablet mode that is for when you have um, a laptop and you turn the tap and you turn the monitor over 180 degrees. Uh, this is useful for two in one computers. I have a two in one myself. And if you turn the screen all the way over to the back, it switches to tablet mode so then you can use it as a tablet. Uh, in my case, this is a desktop computer, so tablet mode is automatically disabled for me. Uh, then we have, I believe, uh, internet or v internet and VPN settings. Um, there's, an, there's a widget for all settings, quiet hours. Um, note and location services just a whole bunch of stuff this is a really useful tool um, say your uh, any virus software goes out uh, the action center will actually let you know where or what has happened um, and where it is is uh, if you look down on the taskbar down here this black bar here you go all the way to the right and you uh, look at the clock right next to it is a little speech bubble this is the action center right here. So this is what you want. This is what you want to look for. So we're going to get out of that. And finally, the fifth thing also kind of pertains to the action center. Don't let notifications get the best of you when you're using Windows 10. Um, like I mentioned, this is the notifications area for your for Windows. 
so, uh, some people think it works like a phone where if you if you have so many different notifications and you let it build up and build up and build up and build up the more it builds up and the more notifications you get you're going to lose your mind you're going to go nuts so just uh, go in here frequently and see what the action center uh, see what it's saying uh, like Dropbox, I'm gonna I can just clear this because I already know about Dropbox. So the only thing I need to do is restart my computer, and I'm going to do that here in just a second. So uh, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to discuss. Um, I just wanted to showcase Windows 10. This is my new operating system on my computer. Um, I actually lost Windows 10 due to some technical issues. So um, I now have Windows 10 on this computer and I am very excited to see what it what all it can do. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I want to catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later.